It's estimated that there are as many as 390,000 known species of plants, with many more still to be discovered. Perfectly adapted to the environments they grow in, they've developed powerful defense mechanisms to protect themselves from harm. Let's take a look at the 15 most dangerous plants on Earth. Number 15. Oleander Thought to have originated in the warm climate of regions around the Mediterranean, oleander is now grown worldwide because of its ornamental flowers, which are popular in landscaping. Growing up to 20 feet tall, which is the equivalent to 6 meters, oleander can be developed as a shrub or as a small tree and is surprisingly resistant to conditions like drought. The five-lobed flowers can be white, pink, or red and can grow throughout the year, although the clusters of color reach their peak during the summer months. While the plant may look appealing, you certainly wouldn't want to let the sap make contact with your skin because it will cause a rash and is extremely painful if it makes contact with your eye. And you definitely shouldn't eat any part of it because oleander produces large quantities of compounds called cardiac glycosides. These interfere with the enzymes related to the cardiovascular system in mammals and can cause serious problems with the function of the heart as well as problems in the digestive system and the brain. Fortunately, oleander has such a bitter taste that it's very difficult for a person or a pet to eat enough of it to become poisoned by the toxins. But if you do, you can expect to suffer from symptoms that include vomiting, profuse sweating, salivation, and irregular heartbeat, and in extreme cases, death. Number 14. Water Hemlock Native to North America and Europe, water hemlock is a species of perennial plant that's normally found around wetland areas such as marshlands and meadows and riverbanks. Growing to more than 8 feet or 2.5 meters tall, they're identifiable by their small flowers that are either green or white in color and grow in an umbrella shape. The problem with water hemlock is that the plants can look very similar to other species that are edible, but it's a costly mistake if you misidentify one because it's regarded as one of the most toxic plants in any of the regions where it naturally grows. This is because of the presence of high levels of a toxin called cicotoxin, which interferes with the actions of certain neurotransmitters that are vital for the normal functioning of the central nervous system in mammals. Within just 60 minutes of ingesting a large enough dose, you'll begin to experience symptoms such as nausea, uncontrollable vomiting, and extreme stomach pain, and in rare cases you may develop tremors, seizures, and find it extremely difficult to breathe, which can eventually lead to death. If medical treatment is sought soon enough, then fatal doses can be overcome with a range of treatments, which include benzodiazepines, barbiturates, and mechanical ventilation, but your best chance of survival is, of course, to avoid eating it in the first place. Number 13. Brugmansia Also known as angel's trumpets because of the large flowers that they produce, Brugmansia is the name given to seven species of shrubs that are native to South America. Popular as an ornamental species, they're actually classified as being extinct in the wild, with the only known species being those that have been cultivated. It's thought that the reason for this is the animal that was previously responsible for spreading the plant's seeds has itself become extinct which means the only way that Brugmansia continues to exist is by human involvement. Growing to a height of up to 36 feet or 11 meters, the trumpet-shaped flowers themselves can grow up to 20 inches or 50 centimeters long. The seven species range in color from yellow to pink to orange, and if it wasn't for their stunning flowers, there's no way people would want to grow them because they're also extremely toxic. The entire plant is poisonous, but the seeds and leaves are particularly dangerous all as a result of the natural production of several tropane alkaloids such as scopolamine and hyoscyamine. It doesn't take too large a dose to begin experiencing side effects, which include confusion, dry mouth, tremors, headaches, and paralysis of some muscles, and with larger doses you can expect to develop hallucinations, problem with your eyesight, and potentially death. It is illegal to grow these plants in a number of places, including Florida because of the risk they pose, and if you ever see one in real life, it's best to admire the flowers from a distance. Number 12. Rosary Pea The rosary pea is a type of climbing plant that's native to Asia and Australia, but because of its invasive nature, it can now be found in tropical regions across the planet. The reason for the name is that the seeds the plant produces have for a long time been popular for creating religious jewelry, as well as musical instruments and a number of other ornamental products. The risk with their use for these purposes is that they may be scratched or ingested, and this poses a real danger because just a single seed if it's been chewed to release the compounds within is enough to kill a healthy adult. They contain high levels of a toxin called abrin, which is essentially a much more potent version of ricin. 
Working in the same way, it interferes with cell metabolism and prevents the making of even the most basic amino acids, which simply causes them to cease functioning. There's a risk from Abrin from ingesting it, inhaling the dust, or even rubbing a cracked seed against a scratch in your skin. And if enough manages to get into your body, you'll start experiencing symptoms within a few hours or a day. At first, you'll feel ill, start vomiting, have unusual pains in your mouth, and have stomach cramps. And you'll soon start coughing up blood, and because of the loss of water in your body, you'll begin to be drowsy. You won't be able to think straight, and you'll be extremely thirsty. Eventually, you risk multiple organ failures and a circulatory collapse, something that if it happens, will almost certainly lead to death. With no known cure for abrin poisoning, treatments are designed to help your body filter it out, but there's no certainty that this will work, so you shouldn't even risk it in the first place. Number 11. Manchineal Tree To begin with, you may think this species of tree produces a small variety of apples, but the fruits of the manchineal tree are far from being a healthy snack, and can instead lead to an early and extremely painful death. Native to regions across both North and South America, they're one of the most toxic trees on Earth, and the part you really need to be careful of is the sap. That's because it contains a high concentration of fobol and a large number of other toxins, and it'll cause extreme blistering if it makes contact with your skin. The most common types of injuries related to these trees take place when it's raining, where people who take shelter under the trees risk raindrops, picking up a tiny amount of the sap and then landing on their skin, which is more than enough to see the effects. Burning the trees can be just as dangerous, with reports suggesting that the smoke that's released can damage the eyes, and eating the fruits is a one-way trip to the emergency ward, because while they may taste sweet at first, your mouth will soon start burning, your throat will swell up, and you may suffer from a bacterial superinfection that can lead to death. It's not just humans who are affected in this way. Manchineal trees are dangerous for most animals except for those that have specifically evolved to counter the dangers, such as the black-spined iguana. In most populated areas where the tree grows, you'll see signs telling you to stay away, or maybe with a giant red X or stripes painted on the trunk to warn of the dangers. Number 10. Deadly Nightshade Possibly the most famous dangerous plant in the world is the deadly nightshade, which is a species that's native to Europe, the northern regions of Africa, and eastern Asia. It has, however, spread much further than that because of collectors taking seeds elsewhere and is considered an established species in America and Canada too. Closely related to tomatoes, potatoes, and eggplants, deadly nightshade grows up to 7 feet or 2 meters tall, develop purple bell-shaped flowers, and produce green berries that turn black as they ripen. The berries themselves taste sweet, and this is what encourages animals to eat them and disperse them elsewhere. But for humans, this isn't exactly a good idea, because the deadly nightshade is one of the most toxic plants that's ever been discovered. They produce large concentrations of tropane alkaloids, such as atropine and hyoscine, and these are present in varying amounts throughout the entire plant. Ingesting these compounds in large enough quantities will result in a range of different symptoms, like blurry vision, light sensitivity, headaches, rashes, dry mouth, and a loss of balance, and in severe cases, confusion, hallucinations, delirium, and convulsions. One of the reasons it's so dangerous is that the effect on the central nervous system mean that the body can be prevented from regulating autonomous behaviors, so you could just simply stop breathing, or your heart may stop beating, both of which are fatal. Number 9. Jimson Weed Jimson weed is a species of plant closely related to the deadly nightshade that's thought to have originated in Central America before spreading around the world. It's highly invasive and can thrive in virtually any warm environment, which means that it's extremely difficult to get rid of it once it's established itself. Growing to around 5 feet or 1.5 meters tall, they have a trumpet-shaped flower that can be purple or cream in color and develop spiny seed capsules that look similar to those of a horse chestnut tree. The presence of tropane alkaloids in every part of the plant means it's highly toxic and potentially deadly, but surprisingly, it's not unheard of for people to purposefully ingest jimson weed, either as a tea or by smoking it, to enjoy the side effects. The hallucinations are particularly sought after in some beliefs as a way to trigger visions, but because users also suffer from prolonged periods of disorientation and risk death if it's consumed in large enough quantities, it's not considered to be at risk of becoming a mainstream recreational drug. Still, there are a number of cases every year where inexperienced users are hospitalized after trying to experience their own hallucinations and inadvertently ingest a fatal dose. 
we are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Gimpy Gimpy Native to the rainforest areas of northeastern Australia, the Gimpy Gimpy plant is a type of stinging nettle, but this is something far more potent than any nettle you've probably encountered before. Covered by stinging hairs over the entire plant, the Gimpy Gimpy produces a set of powerful neurotoxins that are contained in each one. When an animal brush pasts, the hairs break off, puncture the skin, and injects the toxin. And if you're unlucky enough to have this happen to you, the following days and potentially years are going to be extremely uncomfortable. Depending on how many hairs you disturb, the affected site will develop small red spots, which may join up to form a welt. An intensely painful stinging sensation will start almost immediately, and this can last for a couple of hours or even for a number of days before it begins to subside. What's particularly nasty about this sting, though, is that even once it's gone away, that's far from the end of it. People have reported the symptoms re-emerging many months or years after being stung, and all it takes is for the skin to be triggered in a specific way, such as being touched, splashed with water, or subjected to rapid temperature change. Or still, if you're unfortunate enough to inhale any hairs that have been released into the air, because this can cause bleeding in the respiratory tract, difficulty breathing, and the signature intense stinging sensation every time you eat or drink. Number 7. White Snake Root White snake root is a species of perennial herb that may look unremarkable at first, but should definitely be treated with caution because it's extremely toxic. It's mainly found across eastern and central North America where it can be identified by its clumps of white flowers and fluffy seeds. The full plant can reach around 5 feet or 1.5 meters tall and tend to grow in woodland areas where they reach full bloom by the late summertime. While snake root produces a toxin called trematol, which can be fatal if ingested by humans or most other animals and affects the central nervous system in a way that causes the entire body to tremble. Once this symptom develops, medical attention is needed as soon as possible, otherwise death can follow soon after. What's particularly dangerous about this toxin, though, is that you don't need to directly ingest the white snake root to fall victim to it. The illness it causes is often called milk sickness because if a cow happens to eat white snake root, the toxins will then be present in their milk. This has been the suspected cause of death of a number of high-profile people throughout history, including Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks Lincoln. And this is one of the reasons why milk now has to be treated before it can be sold to customers. Luckily, very few people now fall victim to white snake root, and in measured doses, the trematol toxin has actually been found to be helpful in treating certain snake bites and kidney stones. Number 6. Giant Hogweed Originally found across Eurasia, but now seen almost worldwide after being exported as an ornamental plant, the giant hogweed is an invasive weed that can be extremely painful if you touch it. Individual plants can become enormous, reaching heights of up to 18 feet or 5.5 meters. The leaves themselves can be 5 feet or 1.5 meters across, and they develop white umbrella-shaped inflorescences towards the top. It's the sap of the plant that you need to be careful of, and it has an unexpected effect when it makes contact with the skin. You'll soon develop blisters and rashes, but this isn't anything to do with an immune response. Instead, the sap is phototoxic, which means that it inhibits the skin's natural defense against sunlight. This makes the skin photosensitive and essentially means you can experience something to an extreme sunburn within just 15 minutes after exposure. Because of this effect, huge efforts have been made to remove as much giant hogweed as possible. In the US, it's classified as a federal noxious weed, and it's expressly forbidden to either import it to the country or transport it between the states. Number 5. Monk's Hood There are over 250 species of plants that are called monk's hood that are known by a variety of other names, such as Blue Rocket, Devil's Helmet, and Wolfsbane. Mainly native to the mountainous regions throughout Asia, Europe, and North America, they have dark green leaves and beautiful dome-shaped flowers that can be a variety of colors from white and yellow to red, blue, and purple. While each species has its own unique traits, there's one thing that's common with virtually all of them. The presence of high levels of a toxin called aconitine. This alkaloid compound interferes with the actions of the cell membranes of muscles and neurons and prevents them from functioning properly. Ingestion of monk's hood is therefore extremely dangerous, and symptoms of a potentially fatal dose will present within a number of hours. 
At first, you'll experience digestive issues including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea before you can develop a burning sensation and numbness in the mouth and face. Death can occur almost instantly or within several hours, and there's no actual cure to the poisoning. If you do manage to get medical assistance in time, the only thing that can be done is trying to help the body flush the toxins out before too much damage is done. Number 4. Castor Bean Castor beans come from a species of perennial plant that was originally native to regions around the Mediterranean basin, India, and eastern Africa, but is now grown worldwide because of their useful properties. The beans themselves can be pressed to produce castor oil, which is a substance that's used in the production of a range of products such as soaps, paints, plastics, perfumes, and brake fluid. While it is safe to use it in this form, care has to be taken with the raw beans themselves because they produce high levels of ricin. The plant holds the record of being the most poisonous common plant in the world, and it's said that as few as four of the seeds contain enough of the toxin to be lethal. After ingesting a large enough dose of ricin, symptoms tend to develop within a few hours that include a strong burning sensation in the mouth and throat, stomach pains, and uncontrollable vomiting. You'll also begin to feel extremely dehydrated, which also leads to a significant drop in blood pressure, and death may occur soon afterwards. Luckily, it is fairly easy to treat, so deaths due to rice and poisoning from castor beans are relatively rare, and it's seen more as a risk to children who, when unsupervised, are more likely to pick the beans in their backyard and chew on them. Number 3. Larkspur Larkspur is a name given to around 40 species of consolida plant, which is also known by the Greek word delphinium, which means dolphin, and was given to them because of the shape of the flowers that they produce. They're native to regions around the globe, although they tend to grow much larger at higher altitudes, and because of their colorful displays are popular as ornamental plants. They are, however, considered to be toxic to humans, and this is the case for every part of the plant, from the roots to the stem to the leaves and the flowers. Ingesting a larkspur in a large enough quantity will cause symptoms such as skin rashes and severe digestive discomfort, thanks to the presence of diterpenoid alkaloids that can block the normal functioning of the cardiovascular system and neurological pathways. If too high a dose is eaten, then it can lead to extreme confusion and potentially heart failure. It's not only humans that are at risk, but other mammals too, and this makes larkspur a particular problem for cattle farmers. It's one of the main causes of cattle poisoning and can be such a risk that farmers often delay moving their herds into areas where larkspur grows until late summer when the levels of toxicity are at their lowest. Number 2. Yew Tree Found across Europe, Asia, and Africa, the yew is a popular ornamental plant with some individuals believed to be at least 2,000 years old. Typically growing up to 65 feet or 20 meters tall, it's a type of evergreen tree that has dark green leaves and red berries that surround the seed cones. While they're commonly seen throughout the region, they're notorious for their toxicity, with high levels of taxine alkaloids in every part of the tree except for the red flesh of the berries. The alkaloids, once ingested, are absorbed through the intestines that can lead to cardiac arrest or respiratory failure if not treated. And even though you need to eat a lot to die from poisoning, it only takes a little to experience extremely uncomfortable symptoms in the digestive and respiratory systems. Because there's nothing about the tree that warns of its toxicity, it's quite often a killer of domestic animals and wild stock, and is thought to be one of the most common causes of unexplained deaths in animals. It's so easy for an animal or a person to accidentally ingest toxins from a ewe that the best bet is to simply stay away from the trees altogether. Number 1. White Baneberry Also known as doll's eyes, white baneberry is a species that's native to North America. These unusual plants usually grow to around 1.6 feet or 50 centimeters tall and produce bizarre white fruit on red stalks that look like eyes. If you see one in the wild where the berries have ripened, then you'll probably see birds swooping in and eating them. This shouldn't be taken as a sign that the berries are safe, though, because despite being completely safe for some animals, they're highly toxic to humans. They contain powerful cardiogenic toxins, which have a relaxing effect on the cardiac tissue in the body. This can lead to the heart beating far less frequently or not as powerfully, which results in an overall sense of malaise because the cells of the body don't receive as much oxygen as they need. In severe cases, the heart may stop functioning altogether for a period of time, which will lead to cardiac arrest and almost certain death. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, 
and binge watch all of our best nature videos.